We already know Jeskai is great. Just wanna just wanna vibe check this whole like Yorian nonsense. Well sure. This is like actually maybe weirdly acceptable. Um White. What are they up to over there? And am I just meant to do this now? Probably. I feel like my choice is fairly scripted anyway. Hmm, it's a shredder. Oh, red cycle for Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, and then I hold open the mana to kill something. Kind of makes sense as well. Do I even need to kill this? I probably should. Probably should. I can just wrath up the skies it later, but... Why not? They're like blue black phoenix. I might cycle this Lorian at some point. I don't feel like I have to do it yet. Will I participate on AC6? Do you mean armored core six or something different? Get down this tap plan. Oh, arena champion six. Sorry, I should really know that. I don't know abbreviations. Uh. I'm not qualified, sadly. This is... I'm learning historic for the qualifier weekend. We're pretty bad at exiling phoenixes. There's one slight concern I have at the moment. Reprieve is nice against treasure crews, though. I would love to be qualified by it for AC6, but sadly I am not. Well, I don't really know what they're up to, but... I guess I'm going to assume there's some sort of Phoenix deck, question mark. Tired Arena Championship 6, Wired Armor Core 6, exactly. More cards. Not to imagine Wrath of the Skies being good against what they're up to. I might bring in some vetoes as well. I'm sure they're going to make me look very silly for cutting these Wrath of the Skies somehow, but... I think this is fine. <laughs> Inspired Animal Crossing 6 for uh, the Switch 2. Death guy with Torpor Orb and Null Drifters. Interesting. Is Torpor Orb good against at the moment? I'm sure it is good against things. Is it good against Boros? Definitely good against Amalia. I think Amalia is quite good in Historic, even though not many people play it yet. Stops Guide of Souls and a Journey. Yeah, that's true. It's good against a Johnny. <laughs> uh, I've been wondering that too, Vika. <laughs> so many options. Uh, yes, I keep this pretty bad. Uh, all right, that was a good draw. That makes things way better. Luckily, our pretty bad hand was solved by drawing like any untapped land, so you know. Uh, what? Or attacks? Well, that's like completely wild card. Is this like a card that used to see play? I've never seen it before. It did.
Is it just like bad graveyard trespasser? I don't know. Like they get a fort season in their top five, but I don't know. They were just gonna draw a card anyway. It doesn't seem like it matters. Two mana graveyard trespasser. I mean, I guess graveyard trespasser is a good card. So it makes sense. It doesn't seem terrible. Right. Uh, I guess we'd like to be able to cast this Flame of an Ore. Is it though? <laughs> it doesn't seem like a terrible card. I'll give it that much. I'll give it that much. It's dealing a lot of damage. So uh, I guess keeping my Flyage in check. Some point. Ledger Shredder. Um, I feel like this is a fine use of an invert polarity. I really don't want them drawing an invert polarity, but you know, details, details. God damn it. <laughs> we tried. Uh huh. Second Ledger Shredder. Sure. That was a good draw. Uh, let's get rid of this assimilator so that they can't assimilate my flage. Oh, we have Crucius. Yeah, I remember Crucius. Everyone seemed to like that card a lot more than I did. I thought it was pretty good, but lots of people thought it was broken, which I didn't completely get. Hmm. Little Sego. Yep, take one. Beam events. Um, could just kill the Shredder. I could also siphon her though. That sounds entirely fine. And then I can double spell next turn pretty comfortably. Yeah, this is A-OK. -okay. Very clean two for one. We only got the Boros one. The Boros one is really good though. Really bananas card. <laughs> uh, kind of unbelievable, honestly. All right. We're gonna get a counter, I guess. I could just uh, flame of an all this friend now. I'm kind of going to do it at some point anyway, right? Whoa, that was the wrong spell. Oh my god. I'm so silly. Oh my god. That, I very clearly said I wanted to flame of an all. Look, it's been, a, it's been a long day. Oh, okay, well, my intent was clear. I would like it known that my intent was clear. Uh, yes, I would like to deal five to your shredder. Okay. They do all look the same, but true. Am I allowed to just jam an Ashiok? I'm really worried about getting treasure cruised if they have like, I feel like if they had a counter spell, they'd probably have used it. I guess I'm just gonna say go. Tax for four with the Zephyr Spike. It's pretty good. So <sighs> uh, uh. now they do get to take my Aether Spike. Or oh, my Ashiok. Interesting. I guess they're hoping that they just get to cruise through the Spike. Right, double spike kind of gets around that. They go. I really, I, I wish I had the slightest clue what they were actually doing. They haven't really shown us very much in these two games. 
just a, like a bunch of like mid blue and black cards. It's like okay, cool. Uh, I might just fire off the surgical. Oh, apparently I won't. I was like, if I if I fire off the surgical, I can then just haste flage, hit them for twelve. Opponent decided they just didn't want to play anymore instead. Probably not allowed to keep this. Yeah, Croxeroni goes face. It's still a pretty absurd card even then, but... What does Gigantha mean? Okay. Apparently it means yet another Boros variant. Probably means they have Flage. Means they're playing the good cards. <laughs> so weird to me that some people just like don't play Flage and Esper Sentinel and Boros. Um, let's just kill this kitty. No good cards allowed, exactly. Alright, they're probably gonna fable me. That'll be annoying. Yeah. Great. Luris is like fine. I like obviously Luris is a really powerful card. But like you give up on Fable and Flage? Like, I don't know. You give up on a lot. In order to be able to play Lurus. I struggle to believe it's worth it. Vorpal. I have yet to see a Vorpal, so I have to assume it's not legal. That does seem like a card that would have uh would have been cast against me at some point if it were legal. Johnny, okay. Ugh. Eva Spike that. I wanted to like do a Snapcaster ambush this turn, but Johnny's not terribly beatable card. Ooh. You make a Lurus token instead? Wow. Wild. I could get Fable going, or I could do my Snap Ambush this turn. I think Snap Ambush just sounds like pretty nice. Nice little two for one. Interact with the border bunch. An ambush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Um. So am I killing reflection? I assume I'm killing reflection. Right. I'm taking three. Yeah, I have to imagine that is the case. Yeah, get a 2 2 the next time. That's true. And I guess the tax isn't too bad at the moment. Yeah, maybe I meant to block Guide of Souls. I think I kind of agree with you, VB. That's a good card. Do I just do that? Then they untap and play an elk. Yeah, getting rid of their treasures is not bad. Permanently kills the goblin. A little bit worried that it's kind of slow.
Right? That was pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, on the one hand, this would be even worse if they had those treasures in play. On the other hand, we'd get to, like, Divine Purge even more stuff, so I don't know. They get to bring back Flage now. That makes casting this Fable not terribly exciting, because they just kill my token anyway. Although I guess then the free damage isn't going face. Hmm. Probably just drawing some cards. Maybe could have played a land out because of Prismatic Ending, although I'm kind of just hoping to Wrath of the Skies next turn anyway. Boom. I guess it worked out. We do need to find our own flage. We're taking a lot of damage here. When this board dies, they're going to have four in the yards. They're going to be real close to flaging again. So it's not like great. I guess we get to um, double spell here though. Or I could even hold open charm. Yeah, I've got so much energy. Uh, I wonder if I'm allowed to just deluge and look for land drops there. That kind of sounds the most appealing. I kind of want to deluge. We could ending the flage. That's true. Maybe that's good. Good. I think I just really want to deluge, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I really want to have my land drops. Like, pretty badly. Possible. It's like silly of me, but I think this is good. Like they're still one away from slaging. We're gonna have charm open by the time they do. I think. I mean, it depends on their draw step this time, but I think I'm feeling somewhat safe. At the moment. Land is actually nice. Um. I guess they get to do this to give this flying, huh? That's funny. Do I have to interact with the Guide of Souls? Non-optional. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Steal the Guide of Souls. God. Damn it. Um, that's... That's the fifth card for Flage. Right. I have to just let this resolve. It can only Guide of Souls or Flage, though. Okay, if they're not... If they're not Guide of Soulsing, we get to Cyber at least and block. Take Wrath of the Skies. Wow. Apparently. <laughs> All right. All right. I feel like if I played that game better, I would have won. I feel like I must have misplayed that at some point. I feel like that must be the case. Um, well. The stand scolding seems a lot worse against them than against the Luris version. It might still be pretty good though. And like, Invert Polarity seems better against them than the Luris version. But pretty embarrassing against the Luris version. 
Uh, Dream Troll is probably good. Sand Scalding is almost certainly good. Hmm. Eva Spike's pretty bad against the Lurus version, but again, probably better against them because they have Fable. Flame of Anor kills Gigantha, but I think it's pretty bad. Maybe it's fine. Sky Noodle deck. Do you love the Sky Noodle? Yeah, only having free flage in our deck is probably a mistake. I should add a fourth one after this. I think Convert Polarity is mostly bad. Yeah. Even if they aren't a horror stack. I mean, good. Yeah, I do feel like if I played that game better, I would have won. I'm just not sure exactly what I needed to do differently. Age is nice. Things looking good. Johnny, sure. I could hold open a counter spell for their fable. I guess my fable's really bad at attacking to a Johnny, but we can always flage to kill a Johnny next turn. Happy Jeskai Day. Thank you for the 65 months that he has us. Do you love a good Jeskai Day? It might be better just to, like, say go to the narrative counter a thing. I'm gonna try this. Hey! Thank you for the 52 months of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Attack for two. Um, we have two in yard. Uh, I kind of want to cut, discard this reprieve. Casting the front side of Flage honestly seems fine. Like, I know I can discard it, but maybe I'm still just meant to. Maximum punished. All right, let's draw a card and get more info. Yeah, still one away from returning Flage this turn. Unfortunately, uh, let's get in that. They are trading. Okay, like that. Very acceptable. Let us just get a land down, hold open the spike, and then next turn we can haste flage. Essentially. <laughs> so deeply unfair, Shay. Eh? Hi, how pixie. All right, there is an S for Sentinel. That's fine. I don't really care about that, right? I guess it's annoying. It will make me spend my treasure, but I... Maybe I'm just meant to cash this in on literally whatever. Maybe it's just okay to do that when we have Flage in the bin. Like I kind of need to get a card in the yard anyway. This might be really loose. This might be like a huge display. Cool. 
Yo sing, I get a hasty flage. I mean, maybe they have some busted card in their hand to like, nope. Arena of Glory strikes again. This is, uh, is this what people call Splinter Twin? Is this Splinter Twin, y'all? <laughs> Oh, I guess I can target their face and then attack the Adrani. Nice. That was a good turn. Mm -hmm. Flage is such a beating. It is an exceptionally silly card. I'm going to wait on it. <laughs> we might get ruined by uh, this reflection, I guess, by waiting. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Four mana, 12 damage, gain six. And make them use up a removal spell. And it didn't use up a card from our hand. Really just uh, couldn't ask for much more. <laughs> Main deck Sun Cleanser. I've been hearing about this. Wild times. So, I could either Wrath and play a 4-5, or I could Wrath and not play a 4-5. I'm personally having a hasty 4-5 and play. Sounds uh, pretty reasonable. Oop. Uh, the second time this game, shout out to Aruna of Glory. Day two, the qualifier of the, my Phoenix list. Hell yeah. Love to hear it. Well done. Always, always love to hear that. All right, we need to draw something soon because we do now have a flage in the yard, sadly. That was... Potentially a pretty good draw. Draw two cards, you say? I mean... Hmm. I just cast this now? I kind of want to hold it, almost. Maybe a mistake. There are, like, a bunch of things that punish me for holding it. Yeah, if I draw a Lorien Revealed, I'm really sad to have held it, though, maybe. And I have Arena of Glory for, like, stacking up six damage. This might be bad. I think it's good, though. I think it's good. I draw the third flage is better if I draw the third flage. True. All right, Arena of Glory strikes again. I know almost just want to have the third deluge against their list. I don't know. We need a long game against them. Deluge is pretty good at that. Don't worry, this is too many Cyber Siphoners. Maybe there's no such thing. <laughs> True. It won us the game, so it must have been the right play. I've been bringing in Tidebinder against Lurus Boros. Maybe I should be bringing it in here too. I'm not even sure if I should be playing Tidebinder with only two flames though. I don't know. Ah, uh, 
this doesn't have a sweeper, but it's like fine. Fine hand. All right, steam vents means I can hold on the Forsaken Crossroads. Let's just fire this off. Boop. Discharge into Aether Spikes, pretty good at slowing them down. Did they hit? Oh my god. Okay, does not hurt them as well. I don't know. <sighs> Who even knows? Uh, white. There you go. Start legal card, by the way. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I've not seen putting omniscience in the graveyard. They're really just doing nothing. They're not even putting Gigantha in. What's going on? What is going on? I kind of regret not cycling Ilaria now. Uh, I guess we say go. Hmm. Ocelot. Right. Oh. Pick two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so aggressive. I already wanted to draw two cards. Maybe it's fine just to reprieve that though. Ding ding ding. We've already found our island. Hey, Sun Thief. I uh, can't find Sacred Foundry. Yes, I grab Hallowed Fountain. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to play my tap land and say go. Maybe we get to kill Den of the Bugbear. Or we get a very juicy Wrath of Skies. We are going to be taking a lot of damage here, but, you know, seems fine. Yeah, that's a nice one to wrap up the skies away. Although, wrap of the skiesing that away means I do not get to play my own fable. It's probably fine. However... So Helix can put me to A. I have to be a bit scared of the den of the bugbear, obviously. Sun Cleanser. Well, new plan. I Rafa do. I want to kill the Fable. Uh, however, now that they're playing the Sun Cleanser, that makes my life a lot easier. I can just spend one to counter it, and then I have free energy left over. And everything works out so perfectly. A zero, a three, uh, go to nine, he looks at speed to six. I mean, obviously I want to play this fable. Uh, a little bit painful, but it's okay. We'll find a flage eventually. I guess one problem with 80 cards is we kind of have less total life gain. I wonder if we want like a helix or two. We have wizards. Uh, I have some snapcasters. I'm just trying to see if you can get away with not being all in on the wizards package. And still just have a couple flame of an oars. That like, get good as the game goes long. Uh, what am I meant to discard? <laughs> so the flame does answer the gigant part. I think I meant to discard the flame. I can draw cards of the of the Lorian. Might be bad.
Alright, gotta take one. That's fine. Oh, Divine Purge is so funny with Fable. <laughs> Just reset it in the late game. Uh, Guide of Souls. I don't know that I care. I'm just divine purge it away. Alright, Fable Transforms. I'm gonna divine purge, kill this goblin. I kind of don't really care whether they kill my reflection or in response here or not. Alright, I go to a four. Uh, uh, I don't want to hide this arena of glory. And say go. Hey Evelyn, and a good time zone to you as well. We're doing pretty good. Today's been a, you know, perfectly reasonable day. Let's just cast this fable. Yeah, if it was a bird wizard, life would be so much easier. Alas. Oh my god, it enters tapped. That's so funny. I'm not sure that's in any way relevant to anything, but it is hilarious. Oh my fucking god, we're gonna die to lightning helixes, aren't we? I really don't want to die to them, just like drawing another helix. Mm, terrified. I am scared. Also, we're meant to reprieve here to dig a card deeper. Also, Reprieve is kind of buying me time against a Flage if they draw one, so, like, who even knows? Snapcaster Mage! Uh, we do have Flame of Anor in the yard, so that's nice, but we don't have a counter spell for it. Mm. Uh, let's get in with the Goblin. Yeah, we should maybe have some Helixes. We have Flage. But Helix or two might also just be nice. Um, I believe I'm allowed to grab the Orion, probably. Maybe. It is technically very slightly risky to do so. I guess I would rather just be able to draw as many cards as possible. Sure. Uh huh. Thankfully, we have these reprieves. All right, let's target Flame of an Ore. Let's uh, Flame of an Ore draw draw to destroy this. We're just looking to find our own Flage to lock up this game more than anything. Fortunately, we did not find one. Oh my god. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Now we only have one counter, so untapped land kills me. Okay. Who sure does? I could attack with all of Storm Giants and just try and kill them. And just like cross my fingers, they don't draw on tap land. Um, alternatively, not a whole lot of alternatives. Till end of turn? Yep. Could scry with the crossroads so that my reprieve is more likely to draw into a thing that saves me. Kind of like trying to just get them dead. Does seem pretty likely I'm about to die though. Uh, 
I can play another Fable. I just don't know that it matters. Why not Scry first and then decide? So I might want the untapped land. I don't know. I might have just played this like whole turn completely wrong. Like leaving myself dead to untapped land when like I do have draws that save me. Okay. Yeah, then I can't draw into a counter. That was definitely my concern when I did that, yeah. Oh, oh my god. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. Are y'all ready, chat? Are y'all ready? The hasty trawler? <laughs> uh, the hasty two trawlers? <laughs> it was pretty good. I don't know. I enjoyed I enjoyed myself. <laughs> One life and a dream, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of mid. Preparing for the previous arena championship qualifier. Um, basically how I'm doing my Patreon at the moment is whenever I'm preparing for a qualifier, I'll probably upload a list on there of whatever deck I want to play or end up playing with a sideboard guide. So that, you know, if you're like, hey, I really like the look of the uh, the decks that Rain's been playing lately, you can give them a look and know how to sideboard with them and uh, have whatever list I'm planning on playing. Nice way to get, you know, up-to-date lists for the events that I play. And also, I don't know if I have a YouTube link set up yet. We're going to see if this works. Do you have a YouTube link set up? Amazing. Um, the I have someone uploading my videos to YouTube now, so they are slightly more reliable at uploading them than I am. Um, so you know, go check that out if you. The smile on the link. Uh, do I? Oh, it works fine here, but yeah, maybe it doesn't work for everyone. Maybe it does need updating. Um, how do I? Updates. Opponent, what are you doing? Opponent, are you okay? Doesn't work for you on mobile. I will edit it in a second. Uh, yeah, content is going up on YouTube regularly. Currently. Wow, text is too good. Uh... All right, so we go Delcom YouTube, Adcom YouTube, and then we use the command. Amazing. No, it deletes the, oh my God, it deletes the space. All right, have to you remove the smile. It's fine, we'll have time to sideboard chat. Don't you worry. We'll be just fine, probably, maybe. Uncertain. All right, I believe it's fixed now. Amazing, go me. Jeskai, Mystical Dispute. Surgical Extraction. Ashiok. It's more at the end. That would be a solution. That's smart. Too late there, too late. I don't know how many Dovin's Vetoes are meant to have. Weirdly, I think Dovin's Veto might be... It's, like, probably good. It's good if they have Ring. If they have Ring, we really want it. I should probably just have it in. This is a lot of cards. I also kind of want these Dream Trawlers. Um, I can probably cut some Discharges. They do kill Tamiyo, though. Which, you know... Definitely a thing. A little bit worried about being too weak against Tamiyo. 
Uh, mods should be able to add and delete commands. Yeah, I believe that's how it works. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how good. I assume, I assume Vito should be like fine. I don't think it's like thrilling. The creatures are like so important, right? Okay. I don't know. We'll take the win. Uh, we'll take the win. Thank you, VV. Mm, this is good, I think. Probably. Yeah. All right, this hand is not good in the mirror, sadly. Oh uh, boy. I was so excited for this hand, and then we hewed into the mirror, and now I'm not remotely excited. It does mean I'm allowed to not put this on white. Something. That is a land, I guess so. Right, let's go cycle this. Find a hallowed fountain. Lock it in so I can cycle this tune the narrative. Oh, so sulfur falls. You try so hard. I believe I would just like to snap draw a card in there and step. So, what we're gonna do? It's very possible I'm meant to have like a single Esper Triome with a bunch of endings and Lorians in my deck and Surgicals in the board. Alright, tune the narrative. I guess we're currently seeing the downside of the fourth stage, which is that when you don't have Fable, it looks a little awkward. I'm really scared that if I grab Yorian here, would they just get permission to uh, resolve a ring if they have that card in their deck? Would I enjoy Shadow of the Erd Tree? Largely, yes. For the most part, I did enjoy it quite a lot. Um, there are some parts I'm like not as keen on. I think, like, if you compare it to the base game, it kind of has higher highs and lower lows. <laughs> like, the the best bosses in Shadow of the Earth Tree are so much better than anything in the base game. And, um... Like, the exploration is kind of stunning. Like the whole, the, how vertical they make the world map, like that is really, really impressive. But I also think like it has a couple bosses that are just like kind of miserable. And uh, a lot, there are like too many areas in the game that are just empty. I don't want to cast this. They're discarding to hand size. If I cast this, they just get to fire up a counter spell. Oh. Regret. Uh, oh boy. I mean, we have prismatic ending. Like, fine. It's whatever. Like, there are, there are a handful of areas in Shadow of the Earth Tree that just outright feel unfinished to me in terms of 
about as spooky in terms of just like how empty they are. It's very strange. How do I beat this game one? Post board we get surgicals and it gets easy, but. I mean, they're missing land drops. That's really good for me. I'm just going to keep not casting my spells, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. I don't feel like I have to cast them. If they're just going to be discarding, and I'm hitting my land drops. All right, now I'm probably going to draw two. I think. Because I don't have my land drop set up for next turn anyway. Hey Kali, good to see you. Thanks, just resolves. I'd love to see it. Continue developing this mana advantage. It's really strange that it's not doing anything. I mean, I'm certainly okay with it. Um, if I cast a Flage from hand, I still get to snap Flame of Anor in that turn. Sounds acceptable. Again, we don't have a land drop set up, so I'm pretty happy just to fire off a spell, even if they can counter it. Also, they don't have to discard the hand size now, so I'm much less worried about giving them something they can interact with. That polarity's nice. Uh, and land drop's nice. Beautiful. Let us attack with R2-1. I wonder if I want to just cast this Yorian. There's not even anything for me to flash back. But just getting a 4-5 down might be fine. Getting a card out my hand. Yeah. Like holding open polarity, snap polarity is also really nice is the thing. But... I can just discard a Wrath of the Skies. It doesn't really do anything. Like second wrath is our weakest card by a pretty substantial one. Okay. Land drop is phenomenal. Just keep attacking. Can't play a flage if we want to have polarity snap polarity, I believe. Yeah, we're one mana short. This is acceptable. All right. Um, I'm yeah, drawing a Callum next turn. Spooky card. Any of the one in the yard day. Hmm, Aether Spike. That's interesting. So, like, obviously I can return Flage here, but if I do that, I have to exile my other Flages. So that sounds broadly pretty unappealing. I think I would rather just get this Yorian in play. But also just draw free with Snap. But I think I'd rather get some spells out of my hand before I draw free cards. Now we have double counter open. Okay. Not too worried about a lot of things. It's a 10 ATP rainy. <laughs> oh yeah. Is Walt the one before Rise? I don't think I played that one. 
Rise was a lot of fun. Ether Spike. I mean, I feel like this is acceptable. I do worry that I'm like not doing enough here, but you know. You want me to tap out? Way four five? No. You're good. Minus one life. If they crack that, they lose the Kalan. I wonder how many basics they have. They must have, like, maybe exactly three. I would like to be able to play Prismatic Vista for Flage. I will say that's, like, kind of sad that we don't have any fetch lands. And our mana's really taxed at the moment. We'd probably... I guess, like, Lorien's kind of doing the fetch land thing, but... Okay, that's a good card. Uh, now... Pudding. Uh, but firmly on the gas. We lose a Flage from the Yard, which is sad. We also we lose this Yorian from the Yard, which is kind of sad. But we have double counter backup, and it's like weirdly hard for them to interact with this. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just, I guess they have four energy, so they can kind of just discharge it. Oh. That's uh, polarity in there. Polarity, I guess. Eve spike. Okay. Five open. I have to pay five, so they want to tap me out. Uh, I guess I'm just meant to cool it and pay, because, like, if I don't pay and I count it back, it's kind of just the same situation, but I believe this means I've lost the game. So, that's not great. Oh. It actually meant the opposite of that. <laughs> It actually meant the opposite of me losing the game. Funny, funny that. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's how it works, Callie. I've never had it actually happen. But I'm like, pretty sure that's how it works. I certainly hope it does. It's very strange. Yes, they were bluffing, apparently. I mean, uh, I I'm fine with that. Fine of them bluffing. I am meant to have some veto, I just don't know how many. So awkward because the best card in the matchup is also the one that doesn't get vetoed. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's, that's a funny situation. That message scans it anything but nonsense. Uh, yeah, magic's a strange place. Magic is a strange, strange place. I'm really worried this is too low on answers for Tamiyo. This might be just like indefensible. I'm gonna try it. Might just be indefensible. Keep. Okay. Mm, Ooh, nice card. Oh. Okay, we have Surgical Zenardic now, so this card is less scary. And also this card did literally nothing last game, so you know. Probably, probably gonna find a way to make it through this very trying time. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Good to see you not. I wanna just draw two. I end up having to discard if I do. It's probably fine. I kinda just wanna sculpt my hand a bit anyway.
Uh, I don't want to keep this for saving crossroads. Is it still Boros Cats? My opinions on Boros are a lot lower than they used to be. I believe it's a pretty good deck. But I think it's more like the gatekeeper of the format than an actually good deck. Like, you have to make sure you can beat it. But, you know, you are favored against it. Then, uh, like, it's not, it's not hard to be favored against it, is the thing. It's not like it's some big challenge to make yourself good against Waros, but it is something you have to do. Historic stretch. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't even notice this. I didn't... Okay. Apparently this is a card that exists? I mean, that's gonna, like, be good with Callum, I guess. Kind of hard to be fit. You just put sweepers in your deck. Sweepers and they're just creatures. Like, I don't know. They're just creatures. <laughs> That's all they are. <laughs> you just cast sweepers against them and they lose. I... <laughs> You cast sweepers, and they feel very despondent about that. I wish I had anything I could cast proactively at the moment. Uh, what I would do for a fable or a surgical. <sighs> Sucks. I also just like... Yeah, I would like the Aluren deck if it didn't have the consistency problems. Like, clearly, like, the things it's doing are powerful, right? But the consistency problems did feel pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna die to Callum. It's gonna be really embarrassing. Herein, we are witnessing the downside of AT cards in that we cannot find a surgical extraction. You know, we haven't seen a Tamiyo in two games. I'm probably just taking out these stupid discharges for game three. And um, maybe having Tidebinders. Tidebinders kind of nice. You can like run it out somewhat proactively. All right. Oh my fucking god. I believe we are dead. Do I have to just look for a surgical right now? Not playing the one ring. Pretty sure the one ring is good exclusively in the mirror match. I don't know. I don't know I can beat this Callan if I don't just like look for a surgical. But also, I'm really unlikely to find it. Uh, it's, this is probably just going to a game free. My drawer is just lined up quite poorly against Callum, and they've had the henge to turbocharge it. Well, that limits my options somewhat more. So we're like, uh, 6%? Okay. Oh. I guess I can discharge the Callum. Maybe I was like too aggressive here. I don't know. It's rough though. Might have been too aggressive. At least with us tapped low. Okay, they are playing the One Ring. That's really good info to have for game three. But also we're dead. Uh, knowing they have this card in their deck is really good info to have. 
All right, Discharge is bad because they don't have Tamiyo. Urban's Veto is very good because they have One Ring and I kind of want this Tide Binder for Callum. I need to cut two cards. I'm not sure what I'm cutting. I guess ending is also a bit worse if they don't have Tamiyo, though obviously exiling Flage is good. Really hard for us to get four colors to answer ring with it. I think I would like to cut an ending. Some uh, very aggressive sideboarding. All right, let's see how this goes. I mean, I love this hand, but this could be the truth check on uh, how good they are at beating this card. Um, I guess this could be the truth check. Land drops are all set up. Get a nice little scry next turn too. Make another trium. I guess I can put off the scry. Like, want to get my lands in play. Napcaster mage. I mean, so obviously this is an opportunity where I could cash in a surgical, but I think I would rather like save it for win cons. I think I'm pretty happy mystical disputing this. Stop them getting the two one in play. Okay. Major's Charm. I guess that means I want this Crossroads untapped, right? Um, I should probably put it on either blue or white. I guess I'll just put it on blue. Oh, maybe I meant to put it on black. Almost. Oh, wait, I was the first player. Oh my god, I'm so silly. I have no idea what I'm doing, apparently. I wish this was a surveil. I really don't want to draw this flage. Um, but obviously surveilling it would have been absurd. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Can't really afford to draw that instead of a uh, card draw spell. So. Am I allowed to cast this charm in there and step? I don't know. I would really like to. I really don't want to miss a land drop. It's like pretty hard for them to actually counter this, right? Nice. Memory Deluge is phenomenal. Missing a land drop is less phenomenal, but our hand is kind of loaded. I know I'm meant to be saving these extractions for like flage and stuff. I kind of just want to fire one off now though. Just for the info. I believe it's fine to fire one off now. It's possible I'm meant to go after Snapcaster instead of Lorien. Uh Yeah, I have two vetoes in hand. Just like, take the things that have power and toughness. Oh, well, they only had one more Snapcaster. All right, let's quickly look at that deck. Um, they do have an Aether Spike for this Deluge. Uh, they have two Kalim and three Flage. They have a Fragment Reality, uh, no Dovin's Veto, oh they have two Dovin's Vetoes, 
They don't have pole. Oh, they have two polarities. Okay. Cool. They have four one rings. That's wild. Okay. Good to know. I am not allowed to cast this into their Aether Spike, sadly. Oh. Uh, I'm probably allowed to cast this though. I need to make sure that one ring doesn't resolve, but we're going to have V2 open for that. And this trades with a spike. I'm just like pretty happy with that, I believe. Because it frees up my deluge. Mm hmm. Gladly counter that. They're not playing out the lantern, which is nice. Another fable is also nice. I guess they're trying to set up play flage, return flage in the same turn. So that we don't get to interact with it with surgical. Uh, but that's what reprieve's for, so fine. I guess now they get to like flage my goblin though. This may be the downside to casting fable. We just give them value off their flage. All right, I just let this happen, right? Goblin dies. They probably escape their flage to get value before it can be surgical. Oh, I guess instead of reprieving it, I should just spike it because then we like immediately put it in surgical position. That makes sense. I am just going to surge quit now, so I have max info for this Fable loot. Because we know... Oh my god, we know they're, we are taking their flages at some point. Alright, now the only ways they have to deal damage are Kalim and a single Hall of Storm Giants. Uh, lands asleep. Oh, this is a pretty bad land, right? I guess I just discard these. Well, then I cast another fable. Hold my veto open for a ring. I do feel like my list is currently like very slightly light on free mana divinations. I am. Feeling the pinch with these deluges a bit in terms of castability, even if they are quite strong. All right, so it's really awkward because if I counter this, if I don't counter this, I no longer have access to surgical to answer Callum. But if I do counter this and they have a one ring, I'm going to feel really silly. I do have Ashiok in my deck. I don't know. I think this Lantern's just like really good. Okay. Uh, kind of want to discard no cards. Oh, I should have checked if they had any sweepers. They almost certainly don't, but 
All right, it's going to cast a memory deluge. I don't really care if they can counter it. And we have a backup in hand. I guess invert polarity would be rude, but it was for you. All right, so we pay free and then they ether spike it. That was very acceptable. Nice little two for one, and we have a deluge in the yard. Also acceptable. Oh my god, we actually get to flash back the extraction. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, what do I even want to take? They don't have a ring in the yard. Did they have another lantern? I honestly can't remember. But none of these other cards have text, so... They did. Oh. Uh, oh boy. All right, we're tapping out, I guess. So the Spable of the Mirror Breaker card. Pretty good. I think it has a bright future ahead of it. I wanted like one more divination in my deck. Maybe free deluge is one too many. I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry.